Welcome back to KC Talks EV. So on today's episode, we are going to be doing approximately 430 to 450 miles as I help my housemate move from Huntingdon down to Stevenage. In fact, actually, this is the same ex-housemate that I helped move from Hull down to Huntingdon. So the reason why for the increased mileage is because we have to do a few errands on the way. So I have to do a couple medical things in Peterborough and she needs to actually do two stops from Huntingdon down to Stevenage. So that's where the 430 to 450 miles comes from. Essentially, this is quite a bit longer than what I would normally do on a regular basis. I think the most I ever travel in a day is around 300 miles, but it'll be very interesting to see how the car copes. So as I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't anymore have BP Pulse as my primary charger network. So I'm a bit more reliant or mostly reliant now, I should say, sorry, on GridServe Electric Highway, PodPoint and things like Swaku eConnect and Instavolt. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I've just arrived here at Peterborough Services. So I've just done 110.4 miles, average speed of 49 miles per hour, two hours and 15 minutes and 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour. I arrived here with 6%. So I'm currently charging at 401 volt at 115, 116 amps. So essentially I'm getting a pretty good charge rate at the moment. So at the moment, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge right up to around 90% state of charge. I need that in order to get down to, well, first of all, Huntingdon, and then second of all, Stevenage, and some of the way back up, and then I'll stop off at a services. Okay, so I've just arrived here at Bulldog Services. They've got two grid serve chargers, just like pretty much any other services nowadays. So one of them has Chadamo and CCS, the other one has two Chadamos. Again, as I said, it's kind of courteous really if they're both available and you have a CCS equipped car it would be advisable to take the ones with two CCS ports leave the one with the Chadamo spare well at least until they have dual connectors so in total I've done 70.8 miles average speed of 30 it was 33 but 32 miles per hour two hours and nine minutes and 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour I've been sitting here for a little while so the plan is I'm going to charge up hopefully to around 85-90% as I did at Peterborough Services. The next point, however, is I need to get up to Peterborough to sort out a couple medical stuff. Then we're going to pick up the rest of the stuff in Huntingdon and then drive down to Stevenage. Afterwards, I think our plan is we are going to head to a Costco nearby if we can. And then essentially, I've just got to drive back up north up to Hull. And by that point, I think we would have done probably around 430, 440 miles.
Okay, so I've just arrived at Baldock Services. So I've done 92.7 miles, average speed of 41 miles per hour, two hours and 15 minutes and 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour efficiency. So I arrived here with 16%. So I'm just going to let this car charge up again around 85, 90%. I probably should also mention that I did also have a tiny bit of destination charging, as you can see here at the Queensgate Shopping Centre in Peterborough. The one thing I will mention is that essentially you do have to activate it using your parking ticket. Now, I completely didn't read the instructions, hence why I did faff around a little bit. But essentially you scan your parking ticket on the little screen, which you can see there, and it will basically let you charge. So I think for now, what we're going to do is we are going to charge up to 85 to 90% state of charge. And hopefully we're going to head down to Stevenage and then I should have enough to make it back to either Peterborough Services or Grantham Services on the way back. Okay, so I've just finished up here in Stevenage. So I've done 13.1 miles, 21 miles per hour, 37 minutes and three and a half miles per kilowatt hour since I last charged up at Baldock Services on the A1. So I've just inputted in Grantham Services, which is 86 miles away. I possibly have 70 to 80% battery. I've got six out of eight bars at the moment. So that may be a little bit of a struggle. I can always bail out at Peterborough if I think I'm not going to make it. So that is probably the end plan. So anyway, let's get moving straight to Hull. Okay, so I've just arrived here at Grantham Services. So I've just done 99.7 miles, average speed of 43 miles per hour, two hours and 17 minutes and 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So as probably the footage has shown, essentially it was very foggy. So therefore I did slow down quite a bit, although a lot of the traffic was also slowing quite a bit as well. So regarding charging speed, I'm only getting for some reason 73 amps, 74 amps, a 397 volt. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's really not any good. I think I might try the other charger. I went to the one which gives the two CCS ports as I normally do, or CCS connectors instead of the Chadamo one. But looking at it, I think no one is going to be coming here anytime soon. So I think I can just sit back and relax a little bit, have something to eat and let it charge at least. I might try the other charger if it does get quite slow, see if that one is going to be any faster. Okay, I've just moved my car to the Chadamo and CCS connector charger. And it looks as though that, yes, it was something very odd with the charger. I'm currently getting 403 volt at 100 and 506 amps, which is absolutely excellent. Not the fastest I've ever seen, but it should be absolutely fine for my needs, especially at the moment. It's three degrees Celsius and I can just basically leave it here while I have something to eat. So I'm not quite sure exactly what's gone wrong with this GridSurf charger, but I may report it over to GridSurf.
So I've just got back to Hull. So in total, I've done 61.6 miles, average speed of 47 miles per hour, hour and 18 minutes and three miles per kilowatt hour. I did forget to reset the trip computer. So I may have done about 15 miles before realizing that, but I did reset it afterwards. And finally, in total or accumulated total, I have done 457.1 miles, average speed of 37 miles per hour, 12 hours, and it's just ticked over to 20 minutes and 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. So yes, I have been in the car for a little while. It is somewhat irrelevant, I'll be honest, with the timing. I think with the time spent on the road or times charging, it will probably be possibly about the same, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. I did have to wait around in the car while the car was turned on and things like that. So this could be somewhat irrelevant, but I think the mileage definitely is correct and also the average efficiency. So today I've been essentially completely reliant on the grid serve electric highway and it's been absolutely fine. So I'm pretty tired at the moment, so I'm probably going to leave it there. But essentially, yes, 457 miles, not a problem at all in a day, even with a car, which bear in mind, the newer generation does have a lot more range. So you do have to take that into account. So I think that's pretty much it because I'm probably about to fall asleep at this point in time. So if you like this video or you found it informative, please give it a like, dislike it if you didn't. Please share this video to anyone who is considering purchasing an electric vehicle anytime soon. This video, I guess, demonstrates that, yes, you can do quite long distances in this car. I mean, 457 miles is quite a long distance, in my opinion, especially continuously in one day. And yes, these cars nowadays, even this car, which is a couple years old now, older technology, the newer vehicles most certainly will be able to do that. I mean, check out my review on the MG5 Long Range if you want to have a look at that. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching and talk to you later.